Hey, what is up, guys? It's the Dino Gamer back with another video. Today, I'm here with another Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom discussion video. And today, guys, we got to cover a couple of things today. All right, guys, let's get into this. So earlier this week, there was a promo video released saying that there was going to be a Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer coming this Thursday, which by the time this video goes up will be yesterday. I actually did see that promo earlier this week, some somewhere on Instagram, I think. And uh, I, I really didn't think much of it, actually. I really thought that maybe it had been some mistake or fan-made thing. You know, we've had fan-made promos and trailers and just other stuff uh, Jurassic World related in the past. So I didn't really think much of it. I was still thinking that the trailer was going to come out sometime uh, early December. Turns out, guys, it ended up being a false alarm. The trailer's actually not coming out today um, or yesterday <laughs> uh, by the time this video goes up. But trust me, there would have been a lot more hype, guys. I would have been way more excited. And I actually would have known, I'm pretty sure, because I usually check Jurassic Outpost, which is a really reliable website that uploads um, anything Jurassic World related, uh, any updates that are coming out for the upcoming film Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I usually check their website for any updates, you know, something to do a video on, or just, just because, you know, just because I want to know what's going on, if there's when the trailer's coming. Um, but because of this, guys, now they're saying that the trailer might probably... Not for sure, but might be coming on December 7th. So I really don't know now if it's going to be December 13th or December 7th. The dates just keep changing. At first I thought it was going to be later November. Now they're saying December 13th. Then they said November 30th. And now they're saying December 7th. So I don't know anymore, guys. Uh, the trailer could literally come out any day between now and December 13th. I don't know. So let's hope this date sticks. So we could stick with our, you know, little, uh, little goal on my channel to reach 400 subscribers. So basically, it's not even 400 subscribers between now and December 13th or any time in December. It's going to be between now and whenever the trailer comes out. So, uh, so hopefully we can reach that goal, you know, show my face, get that over with. And if we can't, then oh well. I guess we'll just save that, save the face reveal for a bigger goal then. But anyways, guys. That's pretty much it for that, so let's go on to uh, the next part of these, uh, this video. So in other news guys, apparently Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is getting its official augmented reality book. I have no idea what any of that means, but apparently it's coming out on uh, May 2018. I don't know what an augmented reality book is, um, but based on what the article has said, I guess it's something that has to do with an app or something. I really don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are thinking that I'm stupid for not knowing that, but whatever. So as cool as this augmented reality book sounds, guys, for those of you who actually know it, I don't really know what it is, so I don't know if it's cool or not. Uh, the article did mention a dinosaur's name that we, at first, theorized was going to be in the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom movie. Now that it mentioned its name in this article, we are actually thinking that it's now going to be in the movie. I'm going to read you guys a short uh, little section from the article. So here it is. Carlton's official augmented reality book is jam-packed with exclusive movie imagery and background facts and lets you experience original Jurassic World dinosaurs through mind-blowing next-generation fully interactive digital magic. Learn how to bond with and train Alpha Velociraptor Blue, then use her as your predator and guide as you encounter other dinosaurs through the app. From brand new movie dinosaur characters, including awesome Baryonyx and terrifying new hybrid breed, to old favorites like T-Rex and Stegosaurus, this Jurassic World AR book will wow readers all over again. So not only did they mention the Baryonyx, they also mentioned a terrifying new hybrid breed. So, and I'm guessing they're talking about Indoraptor. So, I mean, I can't think of any other new dinosaur hybrid that we've talked about on this channel other than the Indoraptor. Um, so, I'm, I'm guessing, guys, it's official. The Baryonyx and the Indoraptor have officially been added to the Jurassic World Park franchise <laughs> but if you guys think it's fake then that's your opinion i i think it literally says it right here from brand new movie dinosaur characters including awesome baryonyx and other terrifying new breed hybrid breed whatever the fuck it says i think it's i think it just says it right there guys it's official and that's what i believe but if you guys think differently you can go ahead and comment your thoughts down below i'd be happy to read them and that's it for updates today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. That's awesome. I can't wait to see a new dinosaur officially be added. Hopefully, it does better than the Spinosaurus because a lot of people, you know, as much as we love the Spinosaurus and it was a part of the franchise, a lot of people kind of dismissed it because Jurassic Park 3 was just awful in itself. So, hopefully, the Baryonyx is not like the it's a little ancestor Spinosaur thing. So, hopefully, it does a little better in this upcoming Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom film. Well, guys, that's going to end today's video. If you enjoyed this video, 
of uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom discussions, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom updates and other discussions that I post on this channel. <laughs> That's all I have to say for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and please, have a nice day.